You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and we have got Sheila Carter going dark soon. A series of unfortunate events totally sidelines her somewhat sincere efforts to remake herself into a decent human being. And when Sheila comes unhinged soon, I suspect she's going to do bad things to many people. We'll talk about what's ahead, but please click subscribe if you have not. All right, let's dive right in. So this This week, we have Sheila getting upset on several fronts. As the week began, you saw Hope Logan dropping by Il Giardino to see her dad, Deacon Sharp. And Hope really unloaded on Daddy Deacon and told him he needs to get Sheila Carter out of his life once and for all. Hope reminded Deacon he cannot see her or the grandkids as long as he is still with Sheila. And, you know, Hope unpacked all this for Deacon. He clearly wasn't happy to be hearing this, to be getting these reminders. Even worse, Sheila was lurking nearby, listening, just getting angrier. She was smoldering. Sheila's frustrated because in her mind, she's changed. She is this new woman. You know, she's making the most of her fresh start in life, working hard to prove she's redeemed, all that good stuff that, you know, people that like to think they're reformed think. And really, I don't think Sheila is redeemed at all. I just think she's kind of lying in wait, ready to pounce like a tiger in the grass when they see the weakest person and the weakest animal in the herd coming by. And it's not just hope making things hard on Sheila. It is a really rough week overall for Psycho Sheila. She sees Steffi's daughter, Kelly Spencer, eating lunch at Il Giardino with a school friend and his mother. And she Sheila approaches them for a little chat, you know, which seems innocuous enough since she knows Kelly. She saved her from drowning. Kelly knows her as Finn's mom because that's exactly the way that Finn phrased it to Kelly. When she saved her from drowning, he's like, that's my mom. So, but when Steffi hears it, it is going to trigger an absolute fit of rage. She is going to be so angry that Sheila dared to approach her daughter to speak to her daughter to even think that she could do that. So again, I think Sheila assumes she has the right to speak to Kelly since she literally saved her life, saved her from drowning when Finn turned his back at the beach to take a phone call. However, I do not think Steffi owes her any sort of debt because, you know, Sheila shot her and her husband. So, you know, a life for a life. I think the favor bank is is clear. Steffi doesn't owe her a thing. So yeah, when Steffi comes at Sheila with violence, on her mind, you really, really can't blame her, right? Steffi confronts Sheila for daring to approach her daughter. They get into a physical brawl. Steffi does start it by putting her hands on Sheila, but then her mother-in-law is going to go completely ham on her. They're going to go back and forth, slaptastic threats, insults. This is going to be maybe the sweepiest things in sweeps, this fight. I am actually excited to see it. But that definitely sets Sheila off. And then the third thing this week that Sheila is stuck dealing with is Deacon telling her horrible news. He doesn't think they can ever reveal their secret engagement nor does he think they can ever get married because of all the negative reactions to them even being together. So basically, they might as well not even be engaged if he's not going to follow through. She loves him. He does love her. But if he won't commit to her because all the naysayers, you know, it hurts. Sheila's devastated. So I'm also certain that the conversation from um, with Sheila and Steffi is going to include her daughter-in-law telling her again, you will never be in our lives. You will never be in Hay's life. You will never be in Finn's life. You won't be in my life. You won't be in Kelly's life. You are not family. You do not exist to us. Don't ever speak to us again. That's the kind of thing I'm expecting. And I'm certain Steffi slaps Sheila with an ultimatum of never come near any of us again, or you'll live to regret it. And then literally slaps her as well with her hand and with an ultimatum. So with Sheila losing the shot at marrying her person, the one she loves, and losing any chance at being around her family, 
I think she is going to snap and spiral out of control again. I mean, you know, Bold does need a villain. Thomas ain't it. And Xander's not a villain. You know, he's just an annoyance and he may already be gone for good. Zende is not a villain. He's a victim of circumstance, but he's not a villain. So the closest thing we have right now to a villain basically is Poppy and her mints that roofy people. So I do think Sheila's going to go dark again. And I've got a little list of things that I think she might do when she stops trying to pretend she's turned into a good person and just goes into a full backslide into her old violent villainous ways. Let's talk about it. The first thing, I think Sheila might attack Hope and pay her back for ruining her relationship. We know in the past, you know, Sheila Carter has engaged in kidnapping, hostage taking, gun violence, and all manner of physically violent escapades, even death by bees. Do you remember when Sheila took the entire Forrester family hostage at gunpoint? I do. I could totally see Sheila threatening Hope and telling her, stop messing with my relationship or else. However, if she does, you know, Thomas would hear about it. And I would kind of like to see Thomas Forster bust Sheila out for threatening his woman, put her in her place, all that good stuff. Thomas would not take this well at all. And I would love it if he got in Sheila's face, protected Hope, sent the she villain packing. That might actually convince Hope to put that ring on her finger. Number two, I wonder if Sheila might shoot Steffi again. Another big problem Sheila has is Steffi is blocking her access to her son, Finn, and her grandson, Hayes Forrester Finnegan. If Steffi weren't in the way, you know, Sheila might think that she could have a relationship with, with her and Finn, this loving, perfect relationship, if not for Steffi. That's what's going on in Sheila's deluded brain. You know, Finn's been nice to Sheila a couple times, gave her a couple of hugs. So she thinks there is potential for a functional mother-son relationship. I just think those were moments of weakness where he was kind of blindsided and didn't really know what to do. But to Sheila, they mean so much more. So I could totally see her deciding she needs to get Steffi out of the way. I could even see Sheila kidnapping Kelly and Hayes, shooting their mom, you know, all that. She might kidnap Finn too. There is just no telling what what Sheila would do. There's just no telling how far she'd go. My third and final thing that I want you to think about is that Sheila might threaten Deacon. I mean, I do think Sheila might target Deacon Sharp, even though she loves him and wants to be with him. He is letting people get in the way of their love. And that's a problem for her. Deacon proved to her before how much he cared about her when he got his judge friend to get her out of prison. But since then, you know, he's caving to all this pressure and he's letting that affect their personal life. She loves him. She wants to be Mrs. Sheila Sharp desperately, but it doesn't look like it's ever going to happen thanks to Hope and her demands and other people in their lives. So Sheila might take the tact that if she can't have Deacon, nobody can. I mean, she already had to get over Bill Spencer and all his gaslighting and lies to her, and that might factor into it if she totally freaks out on Deacon. Would she hurt the man she loves? I think she would. Please drop your comments definitely subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon because we are here talking bald seven days a week. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 